But we have been looking at a series, Facing Your Giants. And uh, Facing Your Giants. And, and you know, I was, I was uh, the giant that we, we want to look today is the giant of temptation. Giant of temptation. And when you think about temptation, really, you might not see it as a giant. And it is a giant that you cannot kill. You know, I don't know whether you have watched these movies <laughs> of this guy who is walking and they are shooting him and he's not dying. Now that is what temptation is all about. You shoot and temptation still rises up and catches up with you. You run away from, um, you know, some people think you can run away from temptation by relocating from Gidurai to Zimmerman or Zimmerman to wherever. But temptation is a giant that only God can help you to overcome. And uh, you're going to find out as we share why I think this giant would need you and I to know something about our God. Because temptation to me, in any temptation, it has to do with a challenge to God. Either his sovereignty or his ability or his, um, one of his attributes. Any of the temptation that come to us, they in one way or another, he's trying to challenge the holiness of God, to challenge the wisdom that God has. Any, any temptation, it is like utadu, mungu amesema utadu, you know, those kind of things is to prove something to God. That's why temptation, I call it a giant. Giant. Somebody said this, I can resist Everything else, he says, except temptation. Because temptations come from various forms. They have various forms and they come in various ways. And um, I, I, sometimes I ask myself, is it only me who gets temptations? Not the same one, but get tempted. You are driving and somebody cut you up, you feel tempted to mm, say something and uh, say then, Buona Nisamehe. Am I the only one who feels in the bank that somebody I was queuing and seated and somebody just wants to, you know there are those kiherere, nakuja tuwa nakupita or you are seeing a doctor na niu ni daktari amba hukuchukua kale kakitu, na umekaa vizuri alafu natokea jamaa, ye ni mgonjwa kukuriko ana kuovertake. Una feel no, a few times I'm nime feel na nimeenda kumwambia by the way excuse me. Ulituacha hapa. Kwani unatuacha hapa? Alafu anajifanya ati yako jua. Oh, kulikuwa na line. Eh, enda huko nyuma. Temptations, temptations, temptation. Paul, St. Paul says this. Um Oh, let's let's start our text. Our our major text is the book of Mark chapter 14 verse 38. Mark 14, verse 38. Watch ye and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. Apostle Paul says this way, in Romans 7, verse 19. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. I also don't know whether you are like me. Sometimes I've woken up and said, this week I will not do this. So, Ikifika Friday, Saturday, unajikuta. Allah, what happened? Paul says, I rise up and I pray I will not do this. And the things that I say I will not do it, those are the same things that bring me down. Temptations. Temptations. So, temptation, they seem to be all around us. 
temptations all around us. You know, sometimes when you talk about temptation, people think of oh, the sexual temptations. I'm talking about temptations. Some of them have nothing to do with the sex. Igine ni ulafi na kupenda vitu za wenyewe na ku ikiwekwa vibaya unachukua yani majaribio mingi temptations the giant of temptation then seems to arrive at all times of the day in other words it can appear any time of the day or night and while we may make some attempt to move away from it now listen to this although we might relocate ourselves from githurai we always leave an address of where we are going. Inakufuata tu? Tunahamia America. Inakufuata tu? Na hata ukibadilisha nguo. So nitavaa hizi nguo. Hizi ni kivaa ninakuwa na hasira nitavaa zingine. Therefore preparing a defense against such a powerful giant is not like crawling into your sleeping bag and zipping it up and sleeping in there. It's not as easy as that. Preparing for defense of this giant. While no one should feel guilty for being tempted, all should be understand that you will be tempted and the temptation is a challenge to who God is, what God can do, and what God has said you should not do. Always. Always. All the temptation will come that way. It is a fact of life. Your pastor, your bishop will be tempted. Your priest will be tempted. So is your parents. They will be tempted. It will be there. They will be tempted. And if you look at the scripture, you will find that even those people that have gone before us, they got tempted. Even your teacher can be tempted. The professor in theology teaching you theology, can be tempted. And your spouse can be tempted. In fact, Jesus himself was tempted. So in other words, temptation, iko. Na ukihama, unawacha forwarding address. Forwarding address. Na inakuja in a different color. Temptation, ni kama folk. As you drive along the way, unakuta mahali kuna njia mbili. Na njia moja imejaa majaribio. Kwa hivyo lazima uamue always. The, would I do this temptation or resist it? What am I, I, and we don't like those because sometimes when it is in those decisions that some of them look so karibu karibu. You don't know which one is the wrong one. And sometimes it's after you do it then you discover even the choice you made was the wrong one. The choice of which road, which road will take me to destruction? Which road? Which one will take me to life? Which one? And you're there always. So where do we begin? We begin, number one, we need to understand the enemy. You need to understand the enemy. Adui. Number one, our enemy is Sabto. Genesis 3 verse 1. Now the serpent was more Sabto than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yes, hath God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now, I like saying this. Because sometimes we think, and... <laughs> And by the way, happy Mother's Day. I think I'm saying this at the wrong place because I'm going now to the story that I've read. But anyway, happy Mother's Day. I hope somebody else will do it at the right time. But sometimes when you read that scripture, you condemn Eve immediately. But let me help you. Hakuna mtu ufanya dhambi akikuta ama tuseme hivi. Even the people that are uh, mwili unawapelekaga sana. Eh? Ukimwona unaona yeye anapenda mambo ya ngono sana. For example, akiona mtu uchi pale atatoroka. Ah, 
atatoroka sana mtu akiwa uchi ukikuta mtu uchi unapiga mbio so i like saying this the story or even the serpent and adam was not like kula hii akachukua kakula no there was a conversation this is the conclusion of the conversation then they started the conversation was even longer it is how do you start a conversation you start a conversation by asking habari ya kibera habari ya kwenu habari ya mama yako alikufundisha mambo mazuri sana mama yako hata mambo unakumbuka siku hizi ni yale yale uliyofundishwa by the way that's what he told us in the other service he was the preacher so don't think i know so much ukiona akifanya hivi ni vile alituambia so nampiga na vitu zake but you know you start by the hebu niseme hivi kama kuna mtu anataka umtole kitu utoe pesa recho hata kuja akikwambia nipe pesa hapana utakataa lakini atakuinua daktari unajua yeye ni mtu wa kwetu kule subukia by the way tulisoma nayo KU na ulienda wapi ah congratulation kumbe he na, na hiyo ni ulioa ulioa yule dada mlikuwa naye KU eh yule aliitwa Mumbi oh mna watoto wangapi i see he na mimi <laughs> ukiniona hivi nimesafiri nimeenda Ulaya he, anakupa story hata Mombasa nilifanya kazi by the way unakumbuka yule nani Peter Masharia alimuoa Anne and then you say ah tunaenda kanisa moja you know his hajaanza ni story anakupatia tu he hata nilileta gari by the way nimeleta gari gari mzuri sana ah ni Mercedes 350 L class we na ni ya white lakini by the way nimekosa 250 thau ke ya rai wanataka 50 thau now atampa atampa hata akataka kumpa 50 andampa kitu kidogo kwa nini kwa vile ameinuliwa ameinuliwa mpaka hakuna mtu mimi watu unitolea pesa wananirokia wana kwanza uniambia hakuna bishop mzuri kama wewe that's how they start at bishop nikikupiga unachukua you are a very good bishop actually when i was in bwana nipiga kaivi when i was in sima mara was you to come to, and i know you wewe hakuna bishop hata deliverance wote uite nani wewe ni bishop mzuri sana by the way ni na mtu ako, anaenda shule na tunataka 5000 <laughs> uniroki ya rahisi sana hey so i'm trying to say the temptation between eve and the serpent was not the way you think Woman this is good for food na kakula hapana they started some, somewhere maybe they were talking about food you know food nutrition is good and you have to eat the right food if what food do you cook to adam oh do you, you know you have to make sure it is a three course meal every three course meal is good for example mboga terere kidogo unga kidogo na na weke matunda upande huu umejaribu tunda hili Ah The Bible says when she got to know meaning the devil alim convinced it is good for food because she had not eaten but when she that's why I believe the conversation was longer she gets to a place when she was convinced that the fruit was good for food Nimekuachia hapo You have to know your enemy. A deceitful Satan misquandered like a serpent and you know he gets into the serpent and, and and he deals with him. He knew, he knew, he knew. A story is given of a boxer 1896. My grandfather was not born neither is my father and everybody kwa mazaliwa hiyo ni zamani 1896 hey hata hiyo hadithi sasa hivi unashindwa ni ya kweli kini iliandikwa ni ya kweli huyu jamaa alikuwa boxer na wakichapana ah hiyo 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 amtaishika vizuri acha nimpe ile mzuri mnaweza shika mr bean Mnamjua Mr Bean. Mr Bean anateremka kwenda kwa beach. Mmemuona eh? Amefika pale chini, 
anataka kuvaa costume ili aingie kwa beach akiangalia upande anaona kuna mtu na ana mashishio mevaa glasses kwa hivyo anashindwa atavaa namna gani ah akakumbuka nitavaa costume juu ya suruali alafu nianze kutoa mguu moja moja ni kibarua lakini utasa, utafaulu sasa unamwona anangangana anangangana kwa sababu amejaa costume kwa hivyo anafungua suruali picture hiyo Mr Bean anateremsha yote akaweka chini alafu saa ile amemaliza kwa sababu aliona anaonekana uchi alipomaliza hivi yule jamaa akaamuka na mko, mti wake na alikuwa kipofu haoni sasa akaanza kukoka sasa huyo jamaa anashindwa he you know one of the things that we need to know is our enemy once you know you are enemy then you will be successful but when you don't utafanya kama Mr Bean utatoa suruali mguu moja moja kwa sababu lazima uende kwa maji na utaki kutoa nguo watu wakikuona so the boxer in the story of the boxer the boxer was fighting with a, with, a, with 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 a guy that was deaf and he was stronger than him yani kumchapa alimchapa kichapo kile kinaita kwa kichapo cha umbwa lakini kwa ghafla akakumbuka the guy is deaf hasiki kengele kwa hivyo alipochapo ngumi moja akarudi nyuma akafanya mkono hivi oh yule jamaa aka kama kengele imepigwa si ni kuacha kukuchapa alipopinduka huyo jamaa akakimbia akagonga pop akaweka wewe chini when you know you are enemy the, that's the point know you are enemy Matthew 24 verse 4 says and Jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you usiwe deceived kama Mr Bean we need to be wise enough ourselves to know that Satan knows all the tricks that will kick us when we are down he knows all the tricks that will drop us down number b is good to know that our enemy is content to operate slowly hana haraka ni kama ukitaka kushika kuku unatupaga mahindi inakuja ikikura pole pole hauna haraka wengine ukikimbiza kuku kama mimi hautaishika lazima uwe na mfano but the goal of the devil is success not speed any temptation that will come to you the devil is not doesn't want speed he wants to succeed unajua ukiona mtu amekimbia mbio vile nilikwambia na kuitisha shilingi 500 hautampa lakini akikupa story pole 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 unaingia geterenge unatoa kile kitu unatoa second chronicles 26 verse 3 to 5 and then 7 to 8 3 to 5 16 is 16 year old was Uzia when he began to reign he reigned 50 and 2 years in Jerusalem his mother's name also was Jecoliah of Jerusalem and he did that was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah did and he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had understanding in the visions of God and as long as he sought the Lord God made him prosper. Verse 7 and 8. And God held him against the Philistines and against the Arabians that dwelt in Gabal and the Mohonims and the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah and his name spread abroad even to the entering in of Egypt for he strengthened himself exceedingly. 2 Chronicles 26:15b and his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped till he was strong but also something that happened in this man his heart was lifted to his destruction for he transgressed against the lord his god in other words the devil might lift you up a little but if you lift yourself in the pride i, I want to thank uh, millicent for the kind of 
leading, she led us here. Because she made some statements. That wewe, sio mzuri sana kuliko yule jamali kufa na corona. Apana. E, ni nema tu. Kwa hivyo, usiseme, mimi najua kukura mboga ya kavishi. Mimi sikuragi mboga tu, hivi, hivi, hivi. Si mboga ulikura, ni nema ya mungu. Na wale ambao tumepigwa chanjo. Ah, mimi nilipigwa chanjo. Wacha kuringa. Kuna wengine tulipigwa chanjo na tuko kaburini sasa. Na hiyo, hiyo, hiyo tu. COVID. So may God help us. Always to know that the devil is seeking at my downfall. He is, no, he is looking for success. Not with his speed. So finally, this man that was very good. He was godly. He did these things right. He comes to a time that he got pride in himself. At times in our Christian life, we become lazy in our spiritual defenses. We know our successes and our ability to stand will all depend on God. And this is the enemy that the enemy knows, the point that the enemy knows. And he wants to come at that lowest time when you are not ready for him. You have relaxed for the battles that you have won. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 12. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed lest he fall. Notice, he only thinks he stands. In fact, he is not standing, but he only thinks he is standing. And I pray that I will not be thinking that I'm standing, but I will be standing in the Lord. I want to stand strong in the Lord. I want to take heed upon myself, not just to think that I'm standing when I'm not. Not to pretend that I am when I'm not, but to stand and stand well. Remember the devil is not after speed. And I endaga pole pole. Na lazima ujijue. You have to know yourself. Jijue tu. Haitaanza wewe uki, uki, uki kula kitu ya mtu bure. Inaanzaga pole pole tu. Shiringi kumi meanguka. Umeona alie angusha. Unachukua. Kama unafanya kazi na muko watu wengi. Wakienda lunch. Unarudi nyuma. Unaangalia vibeti vya wadada. Wadada mbarikiwe sana. Pesa zenu munaweka kwa vibeti. I sympathize with you. Men rise up with their. Na wale ambao ni very mean. Ata kienda kuoga, anata kuenda na jacket. Iyo yuko na hizo pesa. You don't start by stealing a lot of money. Actually you start. Ata wale watoto kwetu manyumbani. The ones that started picking things from their parents. They don't start Ati umeweka ingiri kumi anachukua yote. Hapana. Hapana. Anachukua moja tu. Ni watu wachache sana kila siku anakaa kihesabu pesa zake. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo hata itaenda na utajua. Siku atakuwa ame graduate kwa sababu appetite ikiwa very high. Atakuja au mekiheva. Ukirudi unaangalia hapana. Hey. There were 50 in 20. Kwa hivyo kuna mtu kwa hii hawa me amebeba thate. So then that's how that's how people know. Na unaingia katika majaribio yale. No. Number C or three. Our enemy is calculating with the proportions. This temptation, the giant of temptation, hata kuja tu hivi, anafanya esabu. The giant of temptation appears as no giant at all. He often presents himself in small doses. He spoon feeds us just a little bit of temptation lest you spew it completely out of your mouth. His plan is for us to nibble, nibble, nibble just a little bit at a time. Listen to what God says here. Or consider, if you can, the progression of evil, Eve's temptation by this calculating professional giant. Genesis 2, 16 and 17. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of knowledge and of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thou shalt surely die. Yes. Now listen to what Satan said. Genesis 3, 1 to 6. 
Now the serpent was more subtle than any other beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, yes, hath God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, serpent, we may eat of all the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. See, I'm going to And the serpent, the serpent said unto him, you shall not surely die. For God has, God doth know that the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as God's knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. Satan did not begin by calling God a liar. Eve would have known. But Satan plays around in her psychology. Kwa kichwa yake tu anamchezea tu. Si si Mungu alisema msikule hiyo mti. Na Eve anapeana story kubwa alafu tena ana conclude vile shetani alisema. If you want to defeat the devil, don't allow a conversation with him. Resist the devil and he shall flee away from you. You have to put your hand your, your feet on the ground. Resist him. Number four, our enemy is crafty with his packaging. He packs it very well. And I would say this for all of you to hear me. Every one of us is tempted. A shopkeeper will be tempted to weigh sukari kidogo. Auzie watu. You are tempted. Butchery man, atakuwa tempted. Na kama uko hapa ni butchery man. Nisikize. Mara unakatia mtu kanyama kazuri, alafu unampiga na kinyama kingine ambacho kinanuka kidogo kilikuwa pale last week. Unamfanya pa aoni. Majaribu ya ku make more money. Sambuza shia nyama shia nyama irrigate na maguta masenge. And it is not true. Hakuna nyama ni mboga tupu ukiulizwa kwani hakuna nyama hapa unasema nyama ni ikoe toketa hao mbere ongelea kaukangi ni kanya mashia nyama shia nyama ilugeto na maguta masenge i'm saying temptation is all over mwingine anakuzia nyanya unaona ni nzuri lakini kuna kamtego anafanya atakuwekea moja ambayo imehoha lakini ujui alikuonesha mzuri mzuri kumbe kuna kamoja kamehoa amekaweka hivi Uyo ni mfanyi biyashara. Professor naya kisomesha college. Hako hapa na mitego mingi. Ule musichana lazima, lazima ni talala na heye. Iri ni mpe max. Yule kijana lazima atatoa pesa. Niliona akireta na baba yake na Mercedes. Majaribio. Those kind of things. Every one of us is tempted. That's why I said bishops, pastors, everybody is tempted. And every one of us is tempted with the temptation. Ile. Kama ni waitito temptation yake. Ile kali sana ni anapo tengenezea watu chuma. Akulipishe chuma kubwa. Alafu. Sini pesa. Areta kachuma kengine ukigonga unaingia. Kama tengeneza dirisha. Majaribio. Iko. Nani mingi. <laughs> Temptations are there. I said he knows how to calculate. He knows what to do, but he also crafted in the packaging. He packs it in a different way. And for every one of us, our package is different. It is not the same for everyone. Every package is different. The giant of temptation is not bound by any truth in anything he does. No, his package is only beautiful on the wrappings. But it is always attractive on the outside, but destructive in the inside. And let me tell you this. Anything that God says thou shalt not touch, like he told Adam and Eve. Or when he says, you men, you shall have only one woman. You shall marry only one woman or marry one man. Anything that God gives you some, some forbidden, he tells you not to do it. 
Anything, the sacred forbidden things have a sacred charm in them. And the giant of temptation makes sure of this. He wraps his packages with enticement. Mtu anaweza sema. Wewe ulinijaribu. Kweli anaweza kukujaribu. Lakini tutasoma hapo nyuma kidogo majaribio haitokagi nje inatokaga from within yourself James 1:14 says but every man and woman is tempted when are they tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed Wewe tu tamaa zako tu ndizo litaanza kukuvuta wewe. Na utalaumu watu ati ule alinijaribu, ule aliwangusha pesa, ni mimi nikachukua, ni kunijaribu alinijaribu. The package comes to you wrapped in a way that you might not know. It is temptation but it is. First we must understand our enemy well. How he acts, how he behaves. So that we can deal with those temptations because there will be many temptations that will come our way. When people go to America, the, the best temptation, and if they are hearing me, please forgive me. Temptation kubwa ya watu wa America, kijana akienda kule, ni kuolewa awa kuowa, ili apate makaratas. Na wengine shetani ni mumbaya, wanakubaliana na bwana yake hapa ugedhione kauduli no okay no sawa yani i mean imefunikwa na kupata makaratasi shindwe <laughs> na kama uko huko na unapanga hivyo ushindwe rudi nyumbani kuja kwa ma- watoto wako jame nini You know, I'm saying this because one of my friends was told to do so. Na anambio na watu wao. Adu wao, watu wao wanyumbani. Kai weo tarai, kai, I mean, what's the problem with you? What's the problem? And then he's asking, why? Everybody is doing it. Refuse to be put in the category of everybody. I would rather do my masters five times or even fail, but go to heaven. Kwani masters ndio itanipeleka binguni? Kwani hiyo degree ndio inanipeleka binguni? Hapana, taiweka kando ni songe. By the way wengine tumepata degree wakati haikusaidi, huwezi tafuta kazi nayo. Meritaya. Alafu wanakupa masters. So you know, funny sana eh? But we thank God. I would rather go to heaven without a PhD than go to heaven with a conscience that betrays me. Labda kuna watu wengi daktari wanafanya kazi huku na udaktari na kumbe udaktari wao walinunua na unaulizwa unataka tuiandikeaje Taka nataka ile ya kwanza uandike first class honors na ya pili uandike dean's list huyu jamaa na phd ulete kisomo ambayo hata ukiongea kizungu ni mingi hata watu hawezi itaja yani ile research umefanya ni kizungu mingi iko na confusion huko kadhalika na kadhalika ni kiitalia sijui ni kiitalia kina kina kinashikana huko 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 wala watu wanapiga makofi kini ukipewa kazi ya hiyo kitu uwezi ndugu yangu wacha kununua barua hata ya kuendesha gari chana na hiyo itakuwa kama ujui kuendesha gari strago mpaka uweze kuendesha gari jameni kama wewe si daktari wacha kudunga watu jindano ah na unajiita daktari ate wewe wote ile giatumia kugea shiana wacha hiyo tabia i'm saying temptation my friend if you are hearing me from wherever you are the enemy is ako cunning 
Unajua mimi shetani hata nijaribu na mambo ya ya kuuza dawa famaze. Mimi majaribio yangu nimejua yako wapi? Ni watu na kabiashara kengine nilianza kakuuza mashamba. Hapo. Hey! Unakuta giant iko hapo inakuzubiri na kugoja hapo. Kwa hivyo wengine mnacheza tu na mashamba. Mimi narudagwa na majiant ya mashamba. Ninalia ninaombewa na Alice na watoto wangu kwa sababu hiyo ni giant. Lastly, and I tell you, lastly, understand a greater power than the power of your enemy. Now this is what is important. What kind of power is sufficient to defeat temptation? Has guilt ever been a sufficient power? The answer is no. Has determination or personal resolve ever been sufficient? The answer is no. Has completely removing yourself from potentially hazardous situation ever been enough? The answer is no. The answer is no. While this just makes common sense, it remains insufficient. So, do we have any hope? The answer is yes. We have hope. Romans 8, 31 and 37. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? 37. No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Ephesians 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. First John 4.4. 4. You are of God, little children, and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First John 5.4. For whatever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Yes, even our faith in God. Hallelujah. So our faith of who God is and who we are in him holds the key for us to have victory. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and verse 13. For if we live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. This means that we, we don't approach this area of temptation with the flesh, because if you fight with our flesh, we will lose. We recognize that the Spirit of God who dwells within us must do the fighting for us. It is the Spirit that modifies, deals a death blow to the action of our body. He does the fighting for us. If we allow the Spirit of God, He will do the fighting for us. This pattern is seen throughout the scripture and is beautifully illustrated in the Old Testament. Nehemiah 4 verse 20 and 21. In what place therefore we hear the sound of trumpet resort ye thither unto us our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the, star, the stars appeared. When Israel fled from Egypt and found themselves at the Red Sea they again were, was personal discipline and discipline and discipline dispense. In other words you get to a place you have to discipline yourself and call on the name of the Lord because God is going to fight for us. Exodus 14, 14 and 15. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore Christ thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. You know, once you know who you have believed in, once you know the God that is taking you, my brother, you will go places. You will go places. I want to finish by saying these words. The Father has promised. Our Heavenly Father has promised. And all that the Father has promised, the power, the victory, all what the Father has promised, you and I, the Son has provided. Our Savior has provided. And what our Savior has provided, the Holy Spirit performs it in us. If the victory is a promise, then the Son has provided it, then the Holy Spirit will perform the victorious act in us. What Jesus made possible 
because of Calvary. The Holy Spirit makes it actual for us today. We don't need to go back to Calvary for victory. He won it. We allow the Spirit of God to make it possible in our times today. What Jesus did for us, the Holy Spirit does it in us. I don't know whether you got all what I've said. Najua kuna ingine wanasema ni tank twister. Lakini ni tank twister kwe. I'm saying what the Father has promised, the Son has provided. It's there for us. And what the Son has provided, the Holy Spirit performs it in us. Yes, I can be strong in the Lord. What Jesus had made possible, the Holy Spirit makes it actual. So that victory can be yours. You can win. And finally, what Jesus did for us, the Holy Spirit is doing it in us. May the Spirit of God do it in you. Because he has promised for you to be victorious. This giant, we can win it. How do we win it? By knowing who we are and the God we have trusted in. Don't trust in your flesh. It will fail you. Hii kichwa itakuzumbua. Na haya macho kwanza ni mabaya sana. Sisemi vipofu wataenda biguni. Wakikataa kuokoka hata nao wataenda. Kwa sabo, unaweza kataa kuona na haya. Uone na mengine wanaonaga na ayo. The thing is, may God help you and help me so that we can overcome the great giant of temptation. I don't know what temptations you are fighting with right now. Right now. What temptation are you fighting with right now? Is it the school fees that you're wondering where you're going to get the money between now and Tuesday? And uh, some of the ways that you want to get it is not the right way. You want the temptation, Kali, Sana. You want to shortchange uh, somebody? You want to, to do something that is not right? What temptation is coming to you? And I pray that God will help you to ask him, Lord, save me, deliver me.